Alright, what's good guys? Uh, this is a video that's been uh, requested quite a few times, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do this. This is basically going to show you how to how to download, extract, decompress, create an eboot, and play a PlayStation 1 game on your PSP. This is a pretty involved process, it takes quite a few steps to get there. Um, you may need Pops Loader on your PSP to get this to work for certain games. I will make another video outlining how to install Pops Loader. Um, I'm using 660ME version 1.4 on my PSP 1000. This will work on a 3000, 2000, uh, PSP Go. You can do it with all of them. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, for this tutorial, I've already downloaded everything that I need to do it and the links will be in the description. You're going to need to download a PSX. Uh, there's this site that I'm going to use, Emu Paradise, they have over 3,000 PSX games. So this is probably the best place to go to get any PSX game that you're looking for. And a lot of their files are in ECM format, which is like um, a disk image that's compressed even further to make it smaller and easier to download. So I'm going to show you how to un-ECM the file with a, just a tiny little application and eventually how to turn that file into an eboot.pbp which you need to do in order to play it on your PSP. So uh, let's, get, let's get going here. Now to get to the to the uh, PSX section. There's a link over here on the side, and here's the address so you guys can see it. Best site for, for PSX games. Uh, over here on the side, there's ROMs, ISOs, and games. You click on that, and it will bring up this huge list. And we're going to be concerned with these the PlayStation ISOs. And then uh, this is the list you want right here the full list of all their games. Now for this tutorial, I'm going to be using Mortal Kombat 4. So if you want to download the same game to follow along, that's the one I'm going to be using. Now remember, I own this game, so it's completely legal for me to download it. If you don't own this game, it's copyright infringement, it's illegal to download, I wouldn't recommend it. The only games that I ever download are games that I'm downloading as backups. If you don't own the game, don't download the file, period. So. If you scroll down a little bit, you will see under all of this stuff, uh, download links. They have a mega upload mirror, a multi upload mirror, and then a direct download. Uh, clicking the direct download, you'll have to view some advertisements and stuff, but the download will be so much faster that it's almost worth it. So that's the download link that I'm going to click. And then you'll see... Hold on. Uh, here it is right here. Direct download. You click this again, and it will download the file. I'm going to cancel it because I've already downloaded it. Now, once you download that, open it up and extract it to wherever you normally extract things. And at this point in time, you should go ahead and download the other two files in the description, a program called Ice-T. You're going to want to download and extract that. And then the other program that you're going to want to download is called GEMC. It's that right there. It's a setup file. Just run it, install it to the root, to the uh, default directory, and then open it up once it's done installing. So I already have this program. This is the unECM program right here. That's the uh, GECM, uh, GMC. I'm sorry, 2.0, and. Let me open up Ice T just so you can get a look at it. And this is Ice T right here. I like using Ice T. A lot of people use Pop Station, GUI. I think Ice T works just as well. So that's what I'm going to be using for all intents and purposes. Now, here's the Mortal Kombat 4 file that I downloaded. And you will notice inside this fold, inside this file, there's a CCD an img.ecm and a dot sub all three of those are it's it's basically like um three files 
that are an, uh, a picture of the PlayStation 1 CD. And we're going to take that picture and turn it into an eboot.pbp. So extract this. I already extracted mine. Mine is right here, already extracted. And then open up the GEMC fi uh, file, and you'll see this screen when you open it up. So what you're going to want to do is click open and go into the to the folder where you extracted the uh, the PSX game and select the ECM file. Double click that to select it, and then it will show that in here. Download slash Mortal Kombat 4. Now you want to select un ECM file because you don't want to compress it. You want to decompress it. So click un ECM file, and you'll get this screen. It will tell you that it's encoding it back into an ISO image. So we're just going to wait for this to complete. And if you look back over here in the in the Mortal Kombat folder, you'll now see an image file, a .img file. Let me expand this window a little bit so I can show you this. It may even be a bin. I think it's an IMG though. Yeah, see disk image file. So we'll just wait for this to complete. It goes pretty. It's a relatively quick process. It doesn't really take too long. You cannot make. Um, an eboot out of an ECM file. So now it'll say decoded that many bytes to this many bytes. Done, file is okay. So you can go ahead and close this and you can close this and just so you don't confuse yourself I would click on this img.ecm and I would delete that as well. So now you have these three files that we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take it and turn it into an eboot.pbp. So let me minimize this window and bring back up ice tea. Now, here's ice tea. Now you can either choose to do this in basic or expert mode, where you can like set the pictures custom and all that. We're just gonna stick to basic, I don't want to confuse anybody. So right here it says PSX image. Hit select and then navigate to wherever you just un ECM'd that file. For this tutorial, it will be in this Mortal Kombat folder, and it'll be the only file in there, the .img file. So select that. And now, for compression over here, go ahead and turn the compression up so you don't want to uh, waste too much space on your memory stick. I like to keep it right around there so it compresses it a bit, but it doesn't, um, it doesn't kill the file, make it play like crap. So now what you want to do here, like right up here it says in the Mortal Kombat folder, it gives you the game ID, SLUS00605. You want to make sure that that matches whatever unique game ID Ice-T gives you. 99 times out of 100 it will. So here is your game title, Mortal Kombat 4. You can change that to just Mortal Kombat 4 if you'd like. That's what I'm going to do. And now down here where it says output directory, Click save and it will say eboot.pbp right in the Mortal Kombat directory. We're going to hit save and then you can hit let's go and it will create the eboot for you. And it will give you this screen, let you know exactly what it's doing. Now it says writing PSX CD dump, it means it's creating the eboot file. Now some games will require the pops loader, a lot of them won't, a lot of them will play without the pops loader. So if you ever get a game and it says that it's not going to run or it's not going to start or a game could not be started, uh, then I would go ahead and install pops loader. Once I get that video up, I'll add a link to the description. That will solve all those problems. It will uh, allow the, the PSX to load and play correctly on your, and you got to have custom firmware for this. You could sign the eBoot, I suppose, but uh, after 6.39, you're not going to be able to play it anyway, even if it is signed. So I would go ahead and just hack your PSP. It's easy. Check my channel. You can get custom firmware on there in no time. All right, now this will pop up. Successfully created eBoot. Click OK. And then you can go ahead and close Ice-T. Thank you, Ice-T, for helping. Let me get back into that Mortal Kombat folder. Okay, 
So now you'll see in the Mortal Kombat folder we have this beautiful eboot.pbp file. So now it's time to power up the PSP and make a USB connection with your PSP. Every time I connect this thing for the first time of the day, it lags like crazy and takes like two minutes to connect to my computer. So sit tight, everyone. It will connect eventually. Basically, all you have left to do from this point on is put this eBoot file onto your PSP. And I'm going to show you exactly where to put it for best results. And now you'll notice... Oh, here we go. Good. Popped up. You'll notice that the, uh, the image file... The image file was 684 megabytes, and the eBoot file is only 381 megabytes. So, Ice-T did a great job compressing our image for us to get it down to a reasonable size. Alright, this is my PSP. You're going to want to open up your PSP folder, and then open up your game folder. Inside your game folder, right-click, go to New, select Folder. Now, I'm just going to name this Mortal Kombat 4. And then take this, oh wait, open up the Mortal Kombat folder. <clears throat> and then you're going to want to go over here and grab the eBoot that we just made with Ice-T. Uh, grab the eBoot, drag it, and drop it into the Mortal Kombat 4 folder. It's going to take a second to, uh, to copy. It is a large file. Now that I have this HD camera, I don't, uh, I don't do the edits anymore, so I'm not going to pause or stop the video and then have to splice it all together later. We're just going to have to sit here. Small price to pay to play a PS1 classic on your PSP. You guys can sit through the the transfer at 3.75 megabytes a second from my computer to my PSP. It's only going to take about another minute. Now this, the sky's the limit with this. This opens up your PSP to about 3,000 different games. You can play just about any game you can imagine that ever was released on the PS1. Assuming that you own it. No copyright infringement, guys. It's just not cool. Nobody likes a douche. Alright, it's just about done copying. About ten more seconds or so. Let me take this time to get focused in on my PSP screen. Okay, it's done. Con it's done uh, transferring, so you can get out of USB mode. And then when you go over to your memory stick, I have to go to in categorize because I have game categories light. You'll see this Mortal Kombat 4. Press X on that. And assuming I'm not a complete waste of life, it should play with no problems. This may be a game that requires Pops Loader. I probably should have checked that beforehand. Oh boy, will there be egg on my face. Nope, started like a charm. If only my camera would focus. And there you have it. Come on, focus, damn it. There you go. Mortal Kombat 4, PlayStation 1, on your PSP. With very little headaches. I mean, considering how hard this used to be, I mean, it's, it's quite a simple process. I just did the whole thing in 14 minutes. So that's that, guys. Finally, finally did it. I made the PlayStation 1 
on your PSP. And the Pops Loader video I will try to get up this evening. If not, I'll definitely put it up tomorrow. Um, and that will just basically show you how to install the Pops Loader PRX. Now guys, if this video helped you, give it a thumbs up, rate it, subscribe, tell all your friends, react to the video. I love getting those reactions. And something other than incredible, like everybody does incredible. It's irritating. Uh, but yeah, check out um, sneaky-codes.tk for all your PSP hacks, uh, homebrew plugins, firmware updates. We do it all over there. Uh, soon to be jailbreaks for iPods and iPhones, including app reviews, uh, app downloads, uh, Android stuff. We're gonna we're gonna really get it going on sneaky dash code so check that out and uh, sneaky dash media.com is back up and running it's soon to get better than ever we got new uh, web devs coming on to help us get some stuff accomplished over there too more movies will be coming more PSX games uh, you guys just get over there and get posting post up anything you got TV shows movies music sneaky dash media.com so uh, yeah thanks for watching hope it helped you and hope it relieved all of the headaches of getting some PS1 games on your PSP. And if you ever download a file that doesn't have that ECM at the end, you can just skip that step. If it's a bin file or an IMG file and it's like 600 megabytes and it doesn't have a .ECM at the end, just skip that step completely and you can just make it into an eBoot. You don't have to do the first step. But yeah, hopefully that helped you guys out. And I know a lot of people a lot of people have been looking for this video. So, yeah, give it a thumbs up. Tell all your friends. Sworn Leader signing out.